Hey guys, Seb here. Today I'm gonna be explaining the force fields that have recently been added to TechIt because of the Industrial Craft 2 mod update. Um, yeah, it's quite new, which is the reason why the Sfax Pure BD Craft textures haven't been updated for it yet. Uh, let's get right into it. Uh, these are some pretty awesome objects. Basically what they do is they create a force field that can be turned on and off and it's impenetrable which means you can't go through it uh, and it can't be broken and then there are also certain upgrades that you can give it in order to improve it right uh, here I have the basic objects you're gonna need and these are some of the upgrades right let's start out with um, basically what you're gonna need is a power source uh, I'm using a high voltage solar array uh, some cable you can use any cable you want um, and a storage unit. I'm using an MFSU, but you can use like a bat box if you want. Just make sure that these three are linked together. Then you're gonna need an EU injector, uh, a force field core, an MFS MFFS area projector, and a blank MFFS card, and also a lever. Basically, um, the EU injector is going to take the energy that is coming from the MFSU, put it into the core, and the core is going to transmit a signal to the projector in order to create the force field. Right, let's start placing some items down. We start by placing the solar array and the bat box, like so. It's going to start filling up with energy. Right, then we're going to place the EU injector. Oi. Oh lord, there we go. Right, um, then on top of the EU injector we're going to place the core and on top of that we're going to place the projector. Right, uh, then on the side of the core, we're going to place a lever. Now, when we switch the lever, an animation change should occur. If you've done that, that means they're powered, which is good. As you can see, the EU injector takes the electricity, puts it into the core, and the core is then going to use the projector to project the signal. Um, right, if we right click on the core, we can see the transmit range of the core, and if there's a linked projector, Right. Okay, we're going to have to link these two items together, the core and the projector. By doing this, you put uh, a blank MFFS card into the generator core, and it turns into a frequency card that basically has the information of this uh, this core stored. Then we place this into the projector. Awesome. Now what's going to happen is it creates a force field that is impenetrable, as you can see. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now if we right click on the projector, you can choose the radius that you want it to be. Let's just quickly turn it off. The radius that you want it to be. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit bigger. Or if you want it to be like uh, a sphere or a cube. It's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. Um, now, so there are some important knowledge to know about this. Uh, it is impenetrable. But it does not penetrate blocks, which means that it doesn't destroy the blocks that are already there. So you see a block here, for example. Now you would be thinking, oh, well, you can just crawl out through here, for example. But you can't actually, because when you break a block that the force field does not go through, like this one, um, well, that it goes through but doesn't break, then it automatically replaces that block, if that makes any sense, as you can see. So it's impossible to get out. Now we're just going to set this to cube 10. Right, okay, as you can see, this uh, projector doesn't actually need to be on top of the core. Uh, this is the transmit range, which means you can put this 8 blocks away if you want. You can get an upgrade that lets you change this to 16 if you want. Right, okay, on to the most important upgrades, which are here. There is. There's a lot of them actually. Um, they do some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna start with the cutter, then the zapper, then the dome, then the camo, and the underwater. Okay, basically you apply an upgrade by just shift clicking on one of the sides to place it there. This, I believe, was the cutter upgrade. Now what's gonna happen is, as you can see, it actually cuts through the ground instead of just um, replacing it when you destroy it yourself. 
Uh, this is pretty cool actually. So now I take it away. You can see there's a massive hole. And yeah. Let me just take my ring. Yep, so that's pretty cool. That's what that upgrade does. Um, The zapper upgrade. The zapper upgrade basically makes the force field red. And when you touch it, you lose health. Now, I'm not losing health because I have quantum armor, but if I were to take this off, as you can see, it deals quite a bit of damage. One heart of damage every time you touch it. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's actually really cool. Right. Okay, now uh, the dome upgrade. Let's just take these off for now. These two. And throw them away so I don't forget that I already did them. Block cutter. Okay, the dome upgrade is a bit odd. Basically, it just makes it a dome instead. Um, so you can walk under it. It gives, leaves the two space. I guess it's useful for... I don't really know. Anyways, it, it's pretty cool. I guess. Right, uh, let's take it off and throw it away. Right, this is one of my favorite. It's the camouflage upgrade. Basically, you right click on it and you can take any block and put it in there as a pattern and the force field will imitate it. Hello! Dirt force field, but you still can't break it, as you can see. Now, you can choose like any solid block, I believe, that's not, that doesn't have an entity, entity value. Um, so let's just take a couple of blocks here to demonstrate. Uh, let's see if furnaces work. If they do, then blocks with entity values can work too. Um, sponge, let's try a piston and... One, oh yeah, one thing I wanted to show you guys was also the glowstone, if we can find it. Yes, okay. Start out by turning this off and changing this with lapis lazuli. As you can see, it's quite easy to change out. Okay, uh, let, let's try the furnace. Um, as you can see, the furnaces apparently don't work, but it gives this weird texture. That's weird. Right, let's take something else. Sponge, do sponge work? Yeah, they work fine. Pistons, hmm, nope. Apparently all the, the items with entity values just give this sort of texture, which makes sense because it will be kind of hard to not do. Okay, one thing I want you guys to note is that um, glowstone, it does work, but it doesn't give off light. If I were to take a normal piece of glowstone and place it beside, you can see that it doesn't actually light up. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, but I guess it makes sense. Right, okay, so that's the camouflage upgrade. Now let's move on to the underwater upgrade. This is probably the most confusing upgrade out there. When you look at it, it doesn't really seem to do anything different, but uh, it, it, it has quite a large effect. Now, imagine you were you built this underground, no underwater, and there are water source blocks everywhere. Okay, right back. Um, let's say there are a bunch of source blocks everywhere. Let's take a water bucket, actually an infinite amount, and then place some source blocks. Oh, great! That's typical. Let's take a bunch of water water source. Okay, now as you can see, all these water source blocks are going to flow everywhere. Basically, if you're underwater, of course, there will be water source blocks everywhere. But, um, we're not. Basically, what this does is it destroys all the water source blocks. As you can see. Now, um, if you can imagine this being underwater, there would be water source blocks everywhere here, and it would destroy and uh, replace them all with air inside this cubicle which means you can have a pretty cool underwater base with the force field but then if you accidentally flip the switch all the water comes down on top of you um yeah okay one last thing to note if you want to make a doorway in your force field uh you can't actually do it by using blocks unfortunately like so, this will not work. Oh god. Let's take the ring. 
the Ring of Awesome. Unfortunately, this does not work even though you might think it would. As you can see, it also replaces these two blocks. What you have to do is use an actual door. Or fence gates. Or fences, I even believe you can do. No, uh, signs, I mean. Any non-solid block that takes up some space, basically. Let's try a couple of these, and... Yeah, so... I guess, it, yeah, if you place the, the door here... You can walk through. No problem. Um, even if these are broken, the doors can still be here. And it could work like so. Uh, so that's pretty cool. If you break the door, of course, it's gonna. The area is gonna get taken up by that. Yeah. So the way, get over here. Um, turn this off and build the doorway again. Now, we're gonna be using a couple of signs. This is the same as water, basically. You know how water doesn't flow past signs? Yeah, it's because they take up a whole block. Whoa. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, and that's about it for everything. Uh, I hope this helped. Um, I know a lot of people are a bit confused on this subject because it's quite new. Um, and it is quite confusing. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Comment, subscribe if you want to watch more of my videos. Um, I post videos regularly. So yeah, um, thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.